Ops list updated. He's coming too. Roger that. Post captured.
Analysis complete. Select a delivery point. Arrived at Mother Base. Supplies requested. Supply drop complete. Development complete. Development complete. Development complete. Supply drop complete. Development complete. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Please select a landing zone. The support helicopter Roger. requested. Rain approaching. This is 
Side ops list updated. Boss, that man you picked up in Walla Yamasa is a top-notch gunsmith. We got plenty of work for him. But it turns out that he's just the apprentice of a so-called legendary gunsmith. Now, if this legendary gunsmith is all he's cracked up to be, we could really use him on our side. The apprentice gave us the whereabouts of his master. If you've got the time, go and grab him. I've added the details to your side ops list. Development project has been added. Please specify a project. Development project has been added. Development project has been added. a landing zone. Heading to Afghanistan. Deploying. 
The map has been updated. Analysis complete. Clouds <laughs> approaching. Supplies requested.
Supply drop complete. Analysis complete. Arrived at another base. The map has been updated. Development project has been added. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. Oh.
extraction arrived at mother base. Extraction arrived at mother base. Please select a landing zone. A support helicopter Roger. requested. complete. Ops list updated. Logs about the prisoner you extracted from the central base camp. It seems that he's not the legendary gunsmith either. Just another one of his apprentices. Now I'm really dying to meet this guy. We got intel on his location from the apprentice. Think you can recover him? I've added the details to your side ops list. Please select a landing zone.
Mission complete. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Commencing platform construction. 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 Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Development complete. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Development complete. Development complete. Development complete. Development complete. Development complete. Project.
Roger that. You gotta extract him. Soviet leadership. 
With the Islamic Revolution happening in Iran, the Soviets felt they had to act fast or risk the spread of Islamic revivalism. A superpower sending a motorized rifle division against men on horseback with antique rifles. Everyone thought it'd be over in an instant. Only it wasn't. Some Muslims made their fight a jihad, a holy war, and began a guerrilla campaign on all fronts. A war of attrition. These fighters call themselves Mujahideen. They're being supported by the West through Pakistan. That's why Miller was involved. He was training them near the Zero Line. He's coming too. Roger that. The war has become a nightmare for the Soviet troops stationed here. They thought they'd be headed home in six months at the most. Then a year passed. Two years. Now here we are four years on, no exit in sight. Afghanistan has become the Soviet Union's Vietnam. The Soviet troops on the ground want to go home. But at least they have homes to go back to. The Afghans have lost theirs. The Soviets destroy the Kishloks, villages, wherever they can. They burn down homes and fields, fill in wells, turn pastures into minefields. It's created a mass of refugees who fled to Pakistan. If the Mujahideen are fish swimming around the villages, the Soviets will go so far as to dry out their ocean. But this has had a big price. There's bitter resentment among the Afghans, and they're taking out their anger on the soldiers on the front lines. Among the Mujahideen are the Pashtun people, fiercely devoted to their code of Badal, or revenge. Soviets they've captured have had their hands, feet, and noses cut off before being left to die at the side of the road, just to show their comrades what they're capable of. Friendlies who come across them can do nothing but put them out of their misery. Then they burn down another village in retaliation. And the cycle of vengeance goes on. Supplies requested. This war... The Kremlin never expected to have Supply this much trouble complete. against the Mujahideen. Afghanistan is a tribal society. Tradition demands that its people stand up to any outsiders who set foot on their land. With the honor of their people at stake, they have everything to fight for. No matter how hard the Soviets hit them, they continue to appear out of nowhere, striking back, then vanishing again. But there's one thing even the Mujahideen fear. Every last one of them. The Soviet gunships. They're highly maneuverable and equipped with massive firepower. Plus, the underside of the fuselage is heavily armored. The Mujahideen can barely scratch them with their small arms. Anyone who hangs around gets mowed down by the gunship's heavy machine guns. This new honeybee weapon that was given to the Hamid fighters, it's no doubt something to help them strike back against the gunships, which makes it a weapon that could change the course of the war. Those guerrilla fighters known as Mujahideen don't actually belong to a single organization. Afghanistan is a multi-ethnic country. You've got the Pashtuns, the Tajiks, Uzbeks, Hazaras, and each of them is split into their own tribes, large and small. Each ethnicity has several rebel organizations that their various tribes gather under. They're united under the banner of Jihad, but that doesn't mean they work like a single standing army. Just look at the area around Smasi Fort. A lot of Tajiks used to live there, but they fled after the Soviets started their scorched earth campaign. With the area uninhabited, the Hamid fighters, who are Pashtun, decided to move in. The Hamids are based out of the city of Peshawar. We passed through it on the western edge of Pakistan. The Pashtun people have long lived in Afghanistan and western Pakistan. They used to travel back and forth frequently. Then Britain went and established the border that still stands today. The Hamid fighters get generous support from the Pakistani government. The government wants to use them to secure influence over Afghanistan. Their liaison with the Hamids is Inner Services Intelligence, and behind the ISI, you have the CIA. That's probably how the honeybee ended up in the hands of the Hamid men.
Extraction arrived at mother base. So, you finally found that legend of a gunsmith. The guys on the R&D team are dumbfounded. They say he's every bit as good as the stories. With him working for us, you'll be able to customize your weapons. Try it out on the ACC. Good. You captured it alive. Development project has been added. Please specify a project. Staff assigned. Development complete. Development complete. Development complete. Development complete.
Please select a mission. Unit dispatched. Unit dispatched.